Hey guys, and welcome to a walk-in Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, but actually I have a gun that walked in yesterday. Super rare, guarantee you never saw one before. But before I get to that, you got to watch a commercial. That's right, we're not monetized, which means you don't get commercials at the beginning. But if you go to our website and you go to our YouTube store, uh, we've mentioned before the dehumidifiers, which we sold three dehumidifiers to Saudi Arabia. Who ever imagined that Saudi Arabia needed dehumidifiers? But one of our favorite customers in, in Saudi Arabia ordered three dehumidifiers. And we just added a new product, which is a cleaning kit for pistols. Right here are the calibers. I'll get up close and personal. Those are the calibers that it covers. And uh, go to the website, check it out. Every dollar spent there goes to help support our YouTube channel. Now, for the walk-in, as you can see, it is a Luger. Those of you who know Lugers can spot right away that this is a Navy Luger because of the longer barrel. It's actually a five-inch barrel instead of about three and a quarter. And it has the uh, Navy uh, rear adjustable sight. But this is just a teaser for a video I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna do a video on Lugers, which will be a broad brush of the development of the Luger from 1900 all the way to 1942 and a little bit about post-war. So it's gonna be an overview, uh, not detail, but just a quick overview of Lugers. See, I didn't wanna get typecast. I get typecast as a guy who only does uh, PPs and PPKs. Uh, some of you have been asking about what about the Luger. I'm gonna show you some Lugers next video I do. But I wanted to show you this because this stands out among all the Lugers I've ever seen. A, uh, a collector friend of mine uh, has done a, a, a list of Navy Lugers and he's researched uh, all these pages are just serial numbers of Navy Lugers. If you happen to have one and you want to forward us some serial numbers and descriptions, uh, we're doing research on Navy Lugers. But even Norm does not have a Navy Luger like this one. You see, this is why this one is special. We'll start on the, the markings on the left-hand side. You can see uh, right here there's an, a Crown M. And the Crown M was uh, M for Marine, or in German that would be the German Navy. Uh, Crown meaning this, this is, uh, is a World War I model. Actually, this is a 1908, uh, model 1908 Navy. Uh, you can also see the Crown M underneath the barrel. Just above the serial number, you see the Crown M. So we know that this is a, a Navy, it's all matching. You can see the circular pattern in the magazine, which is uh, distinctly Navy. And then barely visible, there's the same Crown N on the bottom. And uh, that was st stamped along with a, usually a serial number. This one does not have a serial number. But here's what makes this so unique. And some of you are waiting with bated breath. Check this out. Look at the top where on the 1908, there was actually no date on the receiver, but this one was made for the V2 rocket program. Isn't that incredible? Now, a 1908 that went to the V2 rocket program, can you imagine how rare that would be? Yes, some of you are guessing right off the top of your head, even if you don't know Lugers. Totally fake. I've never seen this before. I actually did an LOL when I saw it. Um, I. <laughs> I was, I was laughing out loud because I, uh, I was, whoever took this gun, and by the way, this Navy Luger, uh, all correct and matching, it's between 5,500 and 6,500. So who takes a Navy Luger from World War I and ruins it with that, that marking? So um, I, I, just in case this is real, I thought we would take a look at and, and see if there's any record of a V2 Navy Luger. So um, you can see here the development of the v V1 rocket was actually in Pienemunda, uh, Germany. I hope I said that right. Pienemunda, Germany was their secret uh, base and Werner von Braun uh, was the head scientist there. He later defected to the United States, probably a little coercion there as we were building our space program, brought him over and he was the head scientist at NASA and helped to develop the Saturn rocket. But as we, we see the V1 rocket uh, taking off here, that was often known as the buzz bomb because it would, it would buzz and the, uh, the British would know that it was about to hit when the buzz, not, the buzz sound stopped, it would begin to fall to the earth and they knew to duck and take cover. Um, and the V2 rocket, it was, uh, it was used against England and in fact, they were building a V2 rocket which would reach New York. Uh, uh, fortunately for us, for the United States, 
uh, that was, it was never completed, but it was uh, serious business. Werner von Braun was in charge of the development of the V1 and the V2 rockets. Now let's take a look at um, him at that time. And if we focus in really carefully, you can maybe see on, uh, that Werner is actually sporting a, a Luger. And so this probably documents the fact that there was a, a Navy V2 rocket Luger. Okay, totally messing with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. This shows the depth at some, what some people will do to fake an item. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with this, but it is a novelty. It's a great April Fool's joke. Um, I, I, I probably will try to sell this, but clearly I don't want to perpetuate a fake. But this happens to be a very poor one. Hey, uh, thanks for watching. It's a good education for all of you. Watch out for V2 Rocket Lugers. Uh, but also stay tuned for the overview of Lugers from 1900 to 1942.